Hello, Steve Steve 89 Well, we've got some good and surprising news regarding to Red Sonja. They were making a Red Sonja movie. Uh, it was originally planned with Brian Singer directing, and then of course he's in the trouble, so um, they got rid of him. And they brought in a wonderful director called um, Joey Soloway, who just happened to be a non-binary feminist and very political. And that made a few people nervous, which I can kind of understand. Um, because there's a lot of debate about Red Sonja and whether she's a feminist icon or whether she's a, an objectified um, victim of the male gaze and so forth and so on. Um, so it wasn't looking good. And then um, they replaced... Um, oh no, the original actress was um, Hannah John Kamen, who is black. So they did this thing, which is a trend in Hollywood, where they replace red-headed actresses with black actresses. Um, it seems to be some sort of um, uh, sort of second-rate sort of backup for um, minorities. It's like, well, we won't give you the, ro the role of the white person, but we'll give you the redhead. So we we we'll, we'll put you in the film. We will diversify. We'll have a black person in the film, but they won't replace the white the white blonde-haired woman. They'll replace the redhead because they're somehow considered not as important and replaceable and disposable. So we'll just get rid of the redhead because we can't give up the blonde, but we have to have a black person. So we'll just, they kept on trading all the redheads. All the redheads were just disappearing because redheads have been historically discriminated against um, in everything forever. And that was just continuing here as some sort of um, work compromise. And it was really kind of upsetting because, I mean, I don't mind redheads and I don't, mind seeing them in things. I think, especially visually, they're very striking. And to have them all just disappearing, just no redheads, and just see, just, there was literally, people online had lists of all the redheads that had been replaced by black people, and it was like, in the tens, it was like a lot. Pretty much every comic character. Um, and along come Red Sonja. Red Sonja is one of the most famous redheads. Um, now, I'm not a big um, sort of fantasy fan. I don't really, and I didn't read a lot of comics, like random comics when I was a kid. I was more just, you know, the Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman sort of kid. And I knew who Red Sonja was. I'd seen comics of her and she was this amazing warrior goddess figure with the red head, red head of hair and the little um, chain male bikini and everything. And I'm a gay man. I'm not, um, I'm not um, victimizing any women with the male gaze. Um, I don't look at women that way, but I could see how amazing she was, and I and I wanted, just even though I didn't know the character wasn't really attached to it, I wanted to see her portrayed properly. And then when I found out that they were going to do um, a race swapped feminist take on it, I thought, oh, that's a pity. That's, that's, that's she's going to be unrecognizable. And I'm like, what's the point? If you don't want to do the character, do something else. Don't take the character and change them to the point that they don't represent the character anymore, and you're just doing. The character you would make up if you made up a new character from the start. Just make up a new character because either way you're going to fail. Because if you take <laughs> if you take a character that's established and change them into something different, the people who love that are not going to respond. Most of them, um, you're just as likely to sell a new character and be successful. At least people aren't going in with um, a bait and switch, you know, victimhood where they've been sold one thing and they're getting another. At least you're just selling them from the start. Hey, we've got this new feminist character and she's not being objectified, she's not the victim of the male gaze and, you know, sell that and the people who want to see that will go see that instead of selling a character that's supposed to be a classic feminist um, icon and then turning her into something else and then wondering why people aren't happy. So this is very surprising, it's very good. Like I said, I'm not particularly attached to the character, I probably won't even see the film, but um, I know how it should have been done and I could see they were going in the wrong direction, and the fact they actually um, backtracked and actually fixed the problem, I'm really shocked. It's kind of, but it's not the first time. It happened with um, Sonic. They, the design was wrong, and they fixed it and made a new one. Um, and I don't know if they fixed the problem with um, Batgirl, because I'm not convinced that that film was as bad as I was saying. I think um, um, Zaslav has an issue with um, certain politics and he got rid of it because of that. But other people are saying it was the specific direction that the film took the, the whole DC universe in and they're not going that direction so they just couldn't release the film because it just wasn't compatible with what they're going to do with all the other films coming forward, like a multiverse thing. So that could 
make sense, but you could always still release it as its own thing and just script it somehow that it doesn't relate to those other universes. Like within the multiverse, you can use the multiverse thing to fix this, this the actual multiverse problem. But um, I don't know. All I know is I'm glad they did this. A lot of people are glad. A lot of people are quietly surprised and happy. And um, it's nice to see people actually saying something positive for a change, like they were when Sonic, um, when the Sonic thing happened. Never everyone went to see Sonic. It was huge. Why? Because people got what they wanted, and they actually audiences actually saw that studios cared what the audience wanted, and catered to them. And that's the point. Especially with franchise films, you're creating it for the fans, not for yourself. You're not creating a new entity. Franchise films, you're creating it for the fans. So stick to what it's supposed to be. They're doing that. It's shocking. It's 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 good. I'm glad to be, you know, doing video about something good. I'm going to go. Bye.